Hello friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis. This channel is recommended for adult fans of LEGO and teen fans of LEGO. If you are younger than the age of 13, you're welcome to watch, but first, get your parents' permission. Hello friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis again. Today we have a Mega Constructs set. This is from the Masters of the Universe line. This is the Battle Cat vs. Roton set. Uh, it consists of 173 pieces, including Merman and He-Man. And then, of course, Battle Cat and the Roton vehicle. Let's go ahead and break open the box, build it up, and see what we think. So the back of the box gives us a pretty good idea of what we can expect to see inside. We have Merman, He-Man, Battle Cat, and the Roton vehicle. Um, all of this interestingly is just illustration it's uh, computer generated there are no photographs on this entire box which is a little bit odd there's also a cross cell down here for um, the expansion set to castle grayskull which uh, i have not yet found but when i do i'll be sure to pick that up and do a review of that as well but let's go ahead and crack this guy open and build it up so inside the box we have seven bags of parts an instruction manual and this rather large custom piece. I mentioned before that Mega is not afraid to make big custom pieces like this and that makes their models stand out but uh, it adds a little bit of cost to the overall set uh, and we'll talk about that in a bit. And there it is, set number GPH23, Battle Cat vs. Rotan. As you can see we have Merman, Rotan, Battle Cat, and He-Man. The Battle Cat uh, is done very nicely. He's articulated at the hips, both front and back, and the uh, paws at the front. His neck is articulated, and his saddle and helmet are removable. He-Man has uh, some nice detail. He's got his battle axe and some uh, a chest plate that is removable. Merman has a removable sword and uh, a chest piece that is removable as well as that uh, trident. Pretty cool. Let's take a closer look at each component one by one. This is Merman. He's pretty well done, I think. His face is maybe a little bit awkward, or his head, his head rather, um, but not bad. Uh, the trident is made in two pieces, the uh, actual claw piece and the staff separate like so. Um, they stick together pretty well there, as you can see. Um, but that's nicely done, and just a little bit of paint application there on, uh, on the center there, some kind of a green jewel. His sword is nicely done. It's got uh, kind of a serrated edge on each side. No paint application, but pretty good weapon. And there we have a little bit better look at the chest piece for him. That is removable, but I'm not going to do that now. Um, and there is a hole in the back so that he could conceivably put on one of the backpacks from the Call of Duty line. The articulation on these guys is just like the Call of Duty figures. Um, of course, the sculpting and stuff is very different. Um, the one awkward thing about this guy is his feet are mer feet, <laughs> and so um, they don't quite line up on the studs, um, so that's a little bit of a challenge. The figure stand, that little plate down there, is included, um, and that is useful to get these guys to stand up because sometimes it's a bit awkward and the balance is a little odd when they have their accessories, but not a bad figure. He looks a little bit like a Ninja Turtle. And here we have He-Man. This one is a little bit different than we've seen before. He includes a battle axe, and his armor is different. As you can see, he has that uh, chest plate there that's a bit different. Uh, the eyes on this figure aren't bad. The white might be a bit much, and maybe the pupils are a little bit high, but otherwise it's not too bad. Uh, the gauntlet on one side is just a molded piece, and then the bracelet there is removable. Uh, overall, I think the sculpt of this figure is really good. Um, with the chest piece on, it's almost a little bit oversized, I think, but it, it does the trick. It's not bad. Let's go ahead and remove that, though, so you see what it looks like. And there's the figure with the chest plate removed. 
Uh, that's a, a little bit more realistic sculpt, I think. Um, and if that were flesh colored, you could have him be just like that. But in this case, uh, the chest, of course, is silver, which is nice when you have the chest armor on. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's that. And there is the chest plate and the battle axe. And here's Battle Cat. He's done very nicely. Um, the saddle is removable, as is the helmet. If we take those off, then we have the animal without any of the uh, accoutrement. He has some really nice articulation. He has uh, a bit of splay at the hips, as well as uh, the articulation. No bend at the knees or at the paws for the rear. Uh, however, the front paws are articulated. Uh, nice print for the tiger striping. The tail is on a ball joint, so it can move around in different positions, which is nice. And the neck is well articulated as well. You can look up and down and side to side. Unfortunately, his jaw is not articulated, so you can't open and close it. Um, but uh, that's forgivable, I suppose. That would just add another small part that could potentially break. Uh, but a nice sculpt on this guy, and uh, very, very cool. I, I like this guy quite a bit, and I'm looking forward to uh, seeing uh, Skeletor's version, uh, Panthor, I think is the name, uh, and hopefully we'll get that one pretty soon. But uh, Battle Cat, looking pretty fierce. And here we have Battle Cat's armor, his helmet, and the saddle. This horn piece up here is removable. Uh, and then you just have those two little pegs in there that attach to the little pegs on the back of Battle Cat. There's another small hole on the top of the head, and and that's how the helmet attaches with that little peg there. So, easy peasy. And this is Rotor. This is the only real build to this set. Uh, you did have to put the tail and the armor on the battle cat, but otherwise he was pre-assembled and you assemble the figures, but uh, this is the actual build of this thing. Those eyes are printed. Um, Mega Constructs in general uses prints rather than um, stickers these days, so that's kind of nice. There's room for Merman to sit inside there. Uh, these things on the side are basically stud shooters, but they are different than the Lego version. You just push on the back and the stud goes shooting across. Not as forceful as the Lego stud shooters, but it's an interesting design. Um, this is kind of interesting. You've got a couple of wheels at the bottom, and the idea is when you roll it, then the blade spins around, and then you have these little spikes in there. There are 18 of those. Uh, they were little tiny things and a little bit of a pain in the neck. Something interesting about this set, there were no additional parts. No spares whatsoever. And at first, I thought I was short one of these little spikes, these little rubbery things. Um, but I went back through the garbage and found uh, it was stuck in the corner of a bag. Um, but there are no spares, no extra ammunition for the stud, sh stud shooters, no extra one-by-ones, nothing. Um, so if you do get this set, be sure that you keep an eye on all the parts because there are no spares. So another cost-cutting measure, no doubt, but uh, unfortunate. So this is the tricky part. Um, there is no such thing, as far as I'm aware, of a brick link or brick set for Mega Constructs. So finding retail information is not easy. I picked this up at Walmart on a retail shelf for $30. It's 173 pieces. That would lead me to believe that it should retail for about $20, uh, especially seeing as Usually, at least in my experience, Mega Constructs is slightly less expensive than Lego in a price per piece uh, kind of thing. Not always, but usually. Um, this does have a couple of large pieces like the cat and his saddle and helmet. And then, of course, that big red rotor piece is exclusive to this set. So there is some additional expense, but I might expect this to be $25.00. But $30 seems like a bit much. But that's what it was at Walmart. And in my experience, Walmart does not typically mark things up a great deal. So I guess that's what retail is for this guy. 
So anyway, if you happen to find this for less than $30, I would love to hear about that in the comments down below. Um, but uh, yeah, I picked up mine at Walmart. If you're interested in this set, you might check there. Um, and good luck because from what I understand, they are in a bit of short supply. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. This has been Christian with Brick Life Crisis. And until next time, take care. I have the power!